Well, 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 look who's back to do some more observing. Not me, clearly. If it isn't, me and Olive, the two streamers you've come to love with our two chairs and our two beers, it's me and it's Olive. We're the ones you love to watch. And Olive's going to be playing. She's going to be taking control tonight on the mouse and keys. Olive, do you want to say anything? You have to talk too. Well, you don't have the mic. We got to get the mic. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Please right, get Olive. the mic for her. Here you go. Olive, do you want to greet everyone? Here. Do you, do you want to say anything? Okay. She wants out already. Interesting. What about this? Okay, don't, don't scratch that. That's a very expensive <laughs> chair. Oh. Okay, she's rolling. She's, that new. she's licking the foot. Okay. Do you want to say anything to people? You have anything you want to say? No, she's cleaning her leg. Okay. She's looking. She's looking out the door. This is pretty fascinating stuff, Olive. This is what the people come here for. <laughs> she's too cute. Oh, look, she's making room for you. You can share the seat with her. Olive, we, we have work to do. Olive, we have work to do. You have to go. <laughs> she rolls into danger she's like you're not gonna sit on me you would never you you don't have what it takes to sit on me my goodness you like what? me too much what? what's with that foot what are, you, what are you doing don't scratch it that's an expensive chair get out of here yeah Hi everyone. Hi everyone. We're, we're it's really me and Julia's stream. I, it was yeah. just a joke. Yeah. It's not actually Olive's stream. We um we have a haunted bookshelf. We do. We got a new we got a new bookshelf back there. You can see it's it's filling out nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got stuff on top. It's got stuff on the second shelf. You can't see up there. It's all Animal Crossing guys. Animal Crossing guy there. These these are and then there's a Darum there's a Daruma. Y'all wanna see y'all wanna see blathers? Y'all wanna see blathers? Look at this. Look at this. There yeah. Oh. There he yeah. is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's a little fuzzy. Can you tell? Where did we get those? There was a store nearby that was selling. They sell like cute anime tchotchkes. So, yeah, we got it at the cute anime tchotchke store. Yeah. Trying to, to you know, buy local. <laughs> buy your anime tchotchkes locally. Support your mom and pop anime shops. Yep. We also got a little baby toy for my nephew. It's baby little, toy. It's a little ball. Also, uh, please observe my special Onsta hat. People were pointing out the Onsta hat. My my scrungly my scrungly scrungler. I got Onsta on my head, and with Onsta on my head, she is here to help my thoughts. Yeah. Bring up the energy for I you. I see you in chat, Ansta, and I thank you for helping my thoughts. You're yes. providing my brain with the good chemicals so I can be energetic on stream. Is this hat still on sale, Jacob? I have to imagine it is, and I have to imagine have that to Draz imagine. linked it because I saw that happen. What? You're sending me power like Goku? Hell yeah, I'm going to spirit bomb. I actually don't need the power. I don't even really play this game. No, I do. I just sit here. You, we, well, you play chat. Yeah, I play chat. I play the chat game. 
chat roulette they call it it's going crazy out there anyway we're playing observation duty six a hard mode the hard mode came out it did the I'm hard mode to see how it goes. The, the news come out because last time we had flawless runs we did and i think, I think we failed once i think it's going to be different this time are we ready for this it's the last pumpkin drink for Halloween. wait hold it up while you crack it Oh, yeah, it tastes like pumpkins right out of the patch. <gasps> what happened? You okay? It's always the first sip always gets me. Gets you how? I don't know. So, you know, it's a unique flavor. I feel like your mouth is never prepared for any flavor. <laughs> it takes one, like, bite or sip of whatever you eat in order to, like, acclimate mm -hmm. to whatever it is you're drinking or eating. Yeah, basically. And the first one is always bad, no matter what. Yes. This is true. This is the Julia rule. Yeah, unless it's like straight up chocolate. Or pasta. Straight up chocolate. Chocolate pasta. Your favorite dish. Yeah. Anyway, we ready to start playing? I'm ready to start playing. Hell yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah! Okay. Nice. You want, Remember you want, to unmute the desktop yeah, audio. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna um find your headphones? I guess. I mean, you don't have to. It's not like it's not like I really need to hear this. Thing. So, how do I do the hard mode? You click on a level and then you click hard. Should we go at the train again? Yeah, let's start on the train. We got to start where you start. There's a penalty from false reports. Oh, no. And the anomaly difficulty has increased. But you're an experienced Eud player. I am an experienced Eud. So I think you're going to you're gonna be doing fine. But the problem is, is that I never know what... Sometimes I, I don't know what is called what, you know? We'll figure it out. They got a egg salad sandwich right there, front and center. Yeah, I remember this. But I don't remember this box being here. I think they've added new objects as yeah, well. Yeah, I don't remember this box. I don't remember this. You remember that egg salad sandwich? Oh, this this cart is new. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. We got a cart that's there just to mess with you. Mm-hmm. Just to get you. Okay. Ah, oh, there's so many new items. These three plants. This. Oh, this looks so homey now. It does. I feel like I, I want to pull a classic game boy out of that bag and and lay in the bed and play it with the light shining directly on the screen so it's visible yes do you ever think about how crazy it is that that's how we had to play portable games for so long <laughs> yeah in the in the sunlight in in like direct light shining right on the screen mm -hmm. it was the only way to do it yeah and i think the first Game Boy Advance that came out was the darkest console ever invented <laughs> by mankind. Uh, you might be right. Yeah, we had to use that worm light, Ansta. Did you have a worm light? I did not have the worm light. I just I, suffered. I, I had a worm light. Oh. Shoe. Shoe fell. Shoe, shoe down. The shoe has we have dropped. Shoe down. Nice. Off to a good start. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She's already killing it. I had for the original Game Boy, the thing that you would click onto the top and it magnified the screen and lit it up. Oh my God. It made you look like. Oh, were you rich? You had some like uh, back to the future tech. Yeah. Like this huge chunky thing with like all this shit attached to it. Then you had like the, you know, bigger battery pack on the back. It was like massive. Mm -hmm. Weighed like 55 pounds. Yeah was not portable anymore. You know what I really wish I had as a kid? I really wish I had the um, the camera, the Game Boy camera. Oh, I had the Game Boy camera. Was this always down like this? Or did this rotate? I don't wanna call anything just in case. Also, was this here? I don't know. 
you know, you, you, sometimes when it's harder, you got to take like a run to, yeah, to yeah. get acclimated, you know? Yeah. I've also been playing, you know, Alan Wake today. So my brain, my brain's geared towards other things. Yeah. We've been playing Alan Wake too. That game rips ass so far. Freaking phenomenal. That game rips ass and oh, slaps ass. <laughs> rips ass and slaps ass. Damn. And it kicks dick. Is that, is that on the IGN reviews? Well, that's like the scale. Okay. Rips ass, slaps ass, kicks dick. Something must have changed. And I'm just missing it. And it cir- they circle all three. Yeah. And like it does all of it. Yeah. Um, Don't but- smile day. That doesn't seem. That doesn't correct. seem right. That doesn't seem right. Um, but yeah, we definitely couldn't play it on stream because there's penis in the first like 10 minutes yeah. of the game. Also, there's just some games that I want to play for me and enjoy at my pace and like just be silent and enjoy the atmosphere of. And this is, you know, Alan Wake 2 is definitely one of them. Yeah. It's like you, you start the game and straight away they're like, look at this old man's dead penis. Yeah, look at the, first of all, look at this old man's booty. Dude, I wonder if they did that because they were like, pe- we don't want people streaming this because they're going to like give away the whole game. Yeah. So like we'll put we'll put ass and dick right at the beginning. And then no one can stream it. Uh, there are some control nods to control, by the way, if, if anyone was a fan of that. Was this different? I thought this was blue before. Um, there's a, a book by, um, Dr. What's his face from the first game. The one who's in all of like the, the video logs. What are they doing out there? I guess they're playing with the little gift bag that you left on the floor. Yeah. It is in the same universe as control. How do I? Oh, lights. Because the. You even encountered the Federal Bureau of Control. Yeah. Tangentially in the game. Yeah, Casper Darling. Casper Darling, thank you. What a good name. Yeah, what a really good cool. name. Yeah, I'm really enjoying watching it so far. It's got immaculate vibes. Mm, so good. The only thing I haven't enjoyed so far is the first like big boss fight. But I also might have just been stupid. I just kept getting lost. And then I didn't know. My character said you're supposed to be running. Actually, you're not supposed to be running. You're supposed to be. Shooting. I don't know. Listen, it's fine. It's over. I was in Beowulf. In front of you. I was, what is, I was the only one there. Uh, yeah. You didn't have to tell I anyone. I looked like a fool. I don't care. I looked a fool. Are you worried that I'm not going to want to go on a date with you? If <laughs> yeah. I see how bad you gamed. Yeah. That I, is my I worry. I watch you game all the time. At least twice a week on these streams. Well, once a week, I guess. At least once a week. And you got to see me getting my ass beat by the Black Rabbit Brotherhood and Liza P 12 times in a row before I turned the game off and haven't played it since. You did get really annoyed with that fight. To be fair, I'm with you. I think, I don't know. Was this always uneven? Um, that fight, mm. 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 It, mm. It's uh, interesting choices made there. We're going to leave you no space to fight is what is what the devs said for that fight. I got to be missing something, right? You very well could be. I found my face. I found something. (laughs) The bear moved.
My favorite thing about Lies of P is that they have a machine they call the P organ. Organ. And they're like, you need to level up your P organ. And I'm like, you did you not? You must have thought about it. Yeah. Surely you thought about it. Surely you must have. And yet you kept it like that? My favorite thing about Lives of P is that uh, Jiminy uh, is quiet the entire time and never speaks once. Wait a minute. They need an anti-Jiminy mod. Uh, one where Jiminy just comes in and goes, figure it out for yourself using environmental context clues. Yeah. Instead of having me tell you Oh, this place is a factory. They make puppets here until the big puppet accident happened. Oh, no. Jeez, what's that? Looks like a machine they use to put puppets together. What's what, Jiminy? I'm going off on a little side path so I can experience the well-made world. Oh, that shouldn't be like that. Oh, you mean that guy shouldn't be like, uh, have an octopus head? Okay. Jimin's in this. <laughs> yeah, they put Jimin in it and he won't shut up. <laughs> He's always singing and rapping and he probably raps sometimes, right? Yeah. Does, does BTS ever rap? Yeah. K-pop for a long time had like... Oh! The cups, the cups, they multiply. Oh, or it was like mandatory that they rapped for like 15 seconds in English. Except I think BTS actually did it in Korean. Which is funny. <laughs> One of them has the name Rap Monster. Well, he probably raps for sure then. <laughs> I would hope so at least. <laughs> <laughs> Although it would be pretty cool to have the name Rap Monster and then you don't rap. And you're like, That's how the, much the, mis the mystery are. is like always there. Like, is he so good at rapping that he refuses to do it? Because it's dangerous? That's the kind of things <laughs> I can, Abyss, camera. It's his so given cool. name. He was born rap monster. <laughs> Didn't want to go along with what his parents wanted him to do. And you, my son, you shall be named Rap Monster. Is that all, is that all a first name or was one of them a <laughs> first name, middle name? <laughs> the nurse that's writing it down. I've named my first child Olympic Gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> and just see what they do. They become a swimmer instead. So close. Olive. Olive, you getting into trouble over there? She's getting into trouble everywhere. We released her from her cone and she was like, allow me to cause mayhem. What are you doing? You want to come here? Hello, little buddy. Hello, little buddy. We got a longtime VOD enjoyer in the chat. Um... Flying on a pig. What the poop? Poopy man. Oh, the poopy this man. This is kind of how Alan Wake 2 starts. It kind of is, yeah. <laughs> you know what? There was a face in the teddy bear car. I feel like someone is telling lies. You better not let Papa find out. Are these different? I feel like these are different. You better hope to God they are. He doesn't go by Rat Monster anymore. He changed his stage name to RM. But that stands for Rat Monster. And everybody knows that. He's effectively changed nothing. Like, we know why it's RM. It's like when people say, like, what the F? 
I'm like, right. I know what the F stands for. Yeah. You've just evoked a curse word in my brain. Which is the same as cursing. You seeing anything good? You observing anything? You're not so quiet, man. All's quiet on the observation front. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> By the way, people, I put a survey up on Twitter. I'm doing draw class next month, which will be in two weeks because of anime NYC and then Thanksgiving. Um, I'm going to do draw class. I'm going to do another like business focused draw class. Uh, let me know what you want me to cover. Please. So that I may know. Uh oh, what? uh oh, someone's in danger. Danger, danger. What's changed? Oh, clearly multiple things have changed. Oh, but you know, it's I've hard been mode. About this. No, I actually I had checked it out before. When so the mode is it. hard. It is. You must operate at a higher level of observation. I'm so curious. All right. Oh, the anomalies. So we'll, we'll, we'll it's see. It's over. It's eight. over. <laughs> it's eight. You fool. You goon. Okay. Now we'll never go on a date. Uh, no. Because of your poor performance. No, come on. In video games. Okay, this all looks like how it did to me. Yep, one knocked over, three. Yep, this all looks good. I still don't know what, <laughs> what it was. Okay, tall, little. Was it this? Was it on the other side? No. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, did I see this before? Hmm. Everyone pick a room and stay focused. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call out random names in chat. Who wants to focus on driver's C? Any driver's C takers? Raid boss Matt, you focus on driver's C. I'm relying on you. Okay. What about private C? Who wants to focus on private C? <laughs> <laughs> May the great, you can be toilet. Um, Airy Yikes, you're private C. Okay, we need someone for sleeping C. Who wants to do sleeping C? Okay, Stygiax, you're sleeping, you're sleeping C. And then y'all can be like the commanders and you'll pick a squad of people underneath you that report to you. <laughs> this will go well. Um, okay, and then we need a, we need a, com a WC commander. I saw it Spooky Kabuki said that they'll take dining. Okay, Spooky Kabuki, you're the dining commander. And Spider Dreams, you're the WC commander. So go ahead and start recruiting people underneath <laughs> you. And then if you could like have them go out maybe on like Facebook and like try to like post to all their friends and say like, oh, I found this way to make all this money 
all you have to do is watch this stream and and focus on this one room and also get five more people and we can kind of just go go on down like that mm -hmm. Also, I forgot to mention um, each commander, you need to give us $5, <laughs> but then everyone under you will give you $5 mm -hmm. and then you will give us three of those $5, mm -hmm. but then everyone under them will give them $5. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They'll pass up three to you. Yeah. But then you give us two of those. But then you give us two of those. <laughs> And I think at the end of this, we'll probably beat the game. So has anyone reported anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's it going? How's it going? Has anyone, has anyone spotted anything? Should I send out like emails? Be like circling back on private C. Like uh, quotas, quotas aren't being met. I need those anomalies on my desk by the end of day. End of stream. <laughs> Spooky Kabuki said, hey friends, how have you been? It's been so long since we talked. I just got this amazing stream opportunity for you guys <laughs> with lots of emojis in there. Uh, beautiful. Bun bun. I keep reading it as Berber. Berber? Berber, 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 Berber. Summer strawberries? I'm getting stressed, Jerry. Did this always have a circle on it? I'm going to report it. Whatever. Looks like a Bucky's burger. <laughs> it's got like Bucky on it. Yeah. It's always been a Bucky's burger. This mode, it's kind of hard, this mode. This mode, a little hard. It's a, it's a little, little challenging, this mode. A little challenging. Was this rotated before or was it always like that? I feel like it was always like that. Now I'm like second guessing myself. Yeah, you're like inventing, oh, this one's new. inventing new anomalies. That one's new. Switches over there. Yeah, there's switches for each side. What? How are the people sitting over here turn their lights on and they off? They have to rely on the kindness of strangers. It's strangers are notoriously unkind. Because they're strangers. They don't have any reason to help me. However, if they join my organization... <laughs> We all have reason to help each other. I see you're inventing a religion. Because as as we prosper, so too will they prosper. Again, this is sounding more like a religion. We all prosper together. If you give me mm -hmm. all okay. your money okay. that you have, uh-huh. And then you can just go make more money at your job. I'm hearing you. And so then uh -huh. think of it like this, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. You give me all the money you have. Then you go to work every day, mm -hmm. make money back until you reach the number you had before you gave it all to me. And then it's like you never gave me any money at all. So it's free. It's actually free to give me money. Okay. Okay, I mean, I can't, there's nothing I can say against you. Yeah, so it really doesn't cost anything.
Just think about it. What if you wanted that money? Well, you'll, this is what I like to call a money detox. <laughs> Free yourself right from now, wanting money. Right now you're so reliant on money. You're like trying to have money all the time, right? Mm -hmm. You give it all to me. Yeah. And then you take some time having no money. Mm -hmm. And then you'll start to realize how little you actually need the money. You'll, you'll cleanse it. You'll cleanse the, the money toxins out of your body. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you've made the money back, you'll be so appreciative of just having the money that okay. you'll, you'll have a whole new perspective on life. This is girl math. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Let us help you. Help us help you. I mean, it says ads starting soon, but. Yeah, the ads are about to start, which is just another way of us getting money. <laughs> See, the advertisers, they're trying to, to do this. They're trying to give us the money to cleanse themselves. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> We just got five dollars from Serotonin as said money detox. <laughs> <laughs> you want to switch our our camera? I mean, it still says ad starting soon, but well, they're gonna start soon. Okay, is the thing you got to be ready for it. There it is. They started. The ads have started. I'm sorry, I bumped you. I'm sorry, I bump us. We got a bunch of subs. Freaking headphones on anymore. We got a bunch of subs, a bunch of people who are money detoxing right now. And, and I think that's incredible for them. There's Olive. Oh. <laughs> we got subs from Miss Disa Burley Tees, who gave out five gifted subs. Thank you. Kiss Me With a Steak Knife, gifted a sub. Tim Tim 2000, Rain, Prince, Prince has Ring Pop. Dance a Daisy, Whiskey Business, Thomas the Turbo Brick, Rico Chet 008, Professor Softboy, Foxhole Monster, Beard Mask, Grammarama Ding Dong, Erica Oh No, Fat Legend 27, Raven and Glasses, Ire Sprite gave out five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Flying on a Pig, Shezzy Shea, Kiro Manser, Frank and Babe, Rufus the Librarian, Sierra Londiel 13. Jenna B, the librarian, Nvidia Siren, sucks at naming, apostrophe Stin, Man Navalon, Chrono 451, Blue Raz McChicken, Heathcliff is a Pratt, Keyboard, Stygiax, Tricky Toe Beans, Repeated Carrots, Realistics 16 gave out five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Uh, Mike leg 95 95 sweet joseph it's spooky kabuki one fat badger jug hugo fraga not jug of raga i guess it could be either one i think i always say that august lesbian comes wheat diabetes come sweet diabetes even cat's ribs taylor x listen i gotta start convincing y'all to put caps at the first letter like use like titling like article titling formatting in your names so i can tell where the words begin and end uh fungi of the door teacups three dark matter builder plays who did use caps in their name correctly so it's easy to read enigma 88 crimson court 13 solon of athens kate kate Nam Raythel, R.I.P. Charlie, Mouth Full of Bees, Art Cat 2, Still Artin, Oh No My Lasagna, Augie Froggy, Generic Drawfee Reference, Small Time Cat Crime, It's a Spencer, Wibbles Dibbles, Ken Boat, Lost Without Pockets, Negapole, Underwater Fungi Party, Baron Davis 78, Unbelievable, Mogzi, Carol Altamonte, Hanno Taku Banana 12, Wicked Me, Professor Rad Gifted 5 Subs, Darkwing Dangel, The Polyfrog, Chemical, Zachary Dactyl, Polyworth, Monochrome, Almanosaurus Pex, Rekka Flare, Velveeta's Mom has got going on, Polyworth, Uncle Cycle, Uncle Cycle, Unicycle Hippo, 
The babe with the power, the walrus 574, soft boy finesse, Mora 40, oh well, it's Noel, B Lee 18, Z the first, cookbook of the stars, prism of pie, puppy poivs, Victoria Von Monkel, Nito Bandito, crown of winter, hat and hat, to your liking, double forte, Gacky, Altisera, ADM, mouthful of bees, brave boss Matt, if it's beyond me, in Sorcel. Someone said it's called Camel Case. Back camel to Case, to your, to your username. Camel Case? Yeah. So it's like, like, it's like the camel's hump. Well, I don't want it to be like like alternating caps. No, no, no. It's like, you know, what you were saying. What you were saying is really called Camel Case. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, Punch Frog City City Getting the DM K Money to the Max Anonymous Gifter Blue Like the Clues Ivy Fay Celestial Kitten Zero Six Traffic Cones Cool Sebastian Kraken and Eggs Change of Memos of Jacob Honka Hondas Go Soupy I Require Coffee and Void of Voids. Thank you all so much. Someone asked um, when we can anticipate the start of Draw Detective season three. And I'll say probably at this rate, early next year. I mean, that's what I would imagine. Because we're just, uh, we're simply not recording that much more this year. No, so... Uh, we, we take time off in December. We have Anime NYC next month, which if you are going to that, please come see us. We're doing a panel on Friday, and we have a table, so come see us. And then right after that is Thanksgiving. Uh, and then December, Drafty takes its little break, uh, which I probably will be making assets during that time, but, um, you know, still still a light break. We won't be recording. And then once we come back from that, hopefully most, if not all, of the assets will be done. And then Jacob can do an audio treatment for the first two episodes, and then I can edit it, and then we can get them out. Um, and then we can start recording the rest of the show. Julia, that does not count as a break. Yeah. <laughs> but John Detectives has to come out at some point. So... Don't worry, I'm gonna make sure she takes a break. I took a break this week, more or less. I've, I did like I've admin been, work. But I've been very proud of you. Thank you. You've I taken did a, light a work. Pretty good but break. I didn't do any art work. For you, it's been a good break. Yeah, I think so. It's Olive. It's Olive Cat. All right, you remember where everything was, right? Yeah. Hi, Olive. Thanks for hitting the camera. She's rubbing her face on the camera. She's licking her shoulder. There's a new thing in the sink faucet in Sleeping Sea. This? This thing? Is that the new thing? A hey, little drain cover? Hey, buddy. Stygiax. Someone's getting you're demoted. The, you're the commander of Sleeping Sea. Which sounds like a really sick title, actually. Commander of Commander sea? of the Sleeping Sea. Yeah. It does sound pretty sick. There's an extra tap. Okay. When I go over there, I will report it. People are saying extra tap. The, these? Okay. I'm just going to hit them both. Hit them both. Circle them. Circle the drain. Oh. Stygiax, you're reinstated and promoted. You only have to give me two dollars now of the five dollars that you get from everyone underneath you for work unfortunately there's just some things that cannot wait so they're just things that i have to do no matter what uh and those were the things that i was doing this uh this this past week i saw someone in the comments asking so. <laughs> promotion means you give jacob ten dollars <laughs> <laughs> But you take 20. You take 20. That's what's important. 
I feel like nothing's changed here. Or here. Olive, why are you dangling your head like a like a dead cat? You she can't even be seen on camera, but she's just dangling her head off the side of the table. She sure is. this was on the other side I actually don't know now maybe it was over I think here. that's always been that way oh you did too many mistakes damn it you done did too many mistakes I actually knew that one because I always look directly at that thing oh do you yeah if that thing changes attempting to reboot oh I guess you get to keep going you just had to like wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, geez. Oh, no. No G Willikers. It's fine now. That's fine. It's good that you don't fail. Yeah, that would be. They just give you a delay. It would be cruel. Cruel. Ready to purchase, employees only. Do you want me to open the window? You can open the window for us too, if you like that. Are you? I'm kind of warm. I guess I, mean, I am wearing a hat and a sweatshirt. Yeah, you are. But it's also kind of chilly today. It is kind of chilly today. Thank God. It's our first <laughs> chilly day of fall. I live. No, I need that. I have, I have a new co-host. I have to scream. You're good. She spun the chair. She did. Joey just ran full speed out of the room. Her busy cats. I'm glad you opened the window for her. Well, now Olive's at the window. That's probably why Joy sprinted. Probably. It was 80 in Boston yesterday and 45 today. That's pretty much what we got going on. Yeah, yesterday it was like 78 or something. And today it's like 50. I saw the same things happening with like Texas. Well, you know, if it gets under 50 degrees in Texas, all the power goes out and everything is covered in ice and... <laughs> It but don't worry, like, Texas is the best state. It becomes like the ninth layer of hell. Yeah. And then you have to pay $2,000 for one day of electricity usage during a surge. And then all the private car camera missing. Private C. Thank you. Not even going to question it. I saw someone talking about how the temperature in Montana. I want to know what uh -huh. what you think about Montana. I've been seeing some pictures of Montana recently. I mean, it looks beautiful. It looks like a beautiful place. Is it nice to visit? Should we go to Montana? I mean, I'd like to see it. It's very conservative, which is, does not surprise me. Correct. But it's also very sparsely populated. Okay. So I don't have to... I don't to, know how this makes me feel. Less or more safe. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, the conservatives are easier to avoid. Oh my God. <laughs> Cat's going wild out there. It was Olive. It was Joy. Because look at Olive. She's gone long. I was looking. <laughs> She's peeking. I think they're about to start going nuts. Yeah, they're about to pop off. <laughs> Doesn't Hank Green live in Montana? Oh, that's right. That sounds right. Yeah. And we like Hank Green. Maybe Hank Green would hang out with us if we went there. You know how sometimes 
when you're a fan of someone on the internet and you're like, wow, I hope that they're not an asshole. They seem really nice. Um, but I really hope that's not a facade. Um, Hank Green, genuinely very nice. Not a facade. Not a facade. Very sweet person. Very enthusiastic. Really nice to work with. Um, he just seemed a, like just the, a delight. The same ass dude as he is in the videos. Yeah. Yeah. Even in his emails, he's like enthusiastic. I'm a big fan of Hank. Evil Healer 7, welcome to your first stream. Welcome. You're going to be seeing this train car a lot because I think I'm going to fail again. No, you won't fail. Fail you once, shame on you. Fail you twice, really shame on you. <laughs> That's hey, double the shame. Hey, Jacob. Yeah. Can you pull some water? Oh, I what? Are you this. cold? Are you chilly? Well, maybe you should beat the level then. Okay. And I'll close the window. What do you mean this is not an anomaly? Uh, one for this chair and one. Stupid construction of a chair. I'll close the window. You don't have to. I don't want to extend the bit to actually make. <laughs> a little crack? Yeah, a little crack is fine. Thank you. That already feels a lot better. It's a little crack kind of concentrates it. It makes it like a high pressure blast. Mm. Much like a fart. Uh huh. We had a fan spot us yesterday. 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 Yeah. They were very nice. Someone had asked if we are more or less how we are in real life. I think so. I think we're basically the same. We just um, up our energy levels for for stream and recording. Yeah. Yeah, same, I think so. same people we just juice up. I would agree with that. Because if we didn't juice up, if, if we like were exactly the same people as we are when we're not streaming, mm -hmm. we just like wouldn't be talking most of the time. Well, that's what I was saying with Alan Wake. Like <laughs> I wanted to play Alan Wake quietly. Yeah, we, we know, would just be like, we'd be like sitting here. I'd be like looking at my phone half the time. No, that is the question. Then I'd like pay attention a little bit and then I'd like leave and go yeah. Get a drink and then I come back. Jacob would come in and say, would you mind pausing for a minute while I go do a thing? And I go, okay. Like, I got to go poop. Can you pause the game? I don't want to miss it. It turns into an hour. And then he has to go cook us dinner, provide us a meal. You get, can you get, can you believe this guy? You'd be watching the stream and then I would leave and then you would hear a podcast in the background. <laughs> Then you hear joy, god damn it. <laughs> Quietly. I'd be on my phone go Googling like what's the best way to keep bread fresh without putting it in the fridge. We're really just describing what we've done today. Yeah, pretty much. Whoa. That doesn't belong there. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there for sure. That one's definitely ain't it. Do we do bits and goofs for each other? Or do we save them for Droppy? We definitely do bits and goofs. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're all still like friends. Yeah. Where was the cup? Was it here? Cup zone. Was it over here? Cup zone. Oh, yeah. Cup okay. returned. Great. Bread's not necessarily supposed to be in the fridge, but it lasts longer without getting moldy in the fridge. Since someone had asked if bread is supposed to be in the fridge. We've been having an issue with our bread getting moldy. Yeah. Before we're done eating the loaf. 
hate to waste food. But sometimes we don't want it to be in the fridge because it makes the bread more stale and the texture gets weird. And I don't want to start off my day because I eat it for breakfast. I want to start it off on a weird note. A lot of people saying freezer bread. Oh, it's a headbutt guy. I love <laughs> that guy. guy. He's partying hard. We do have a bread box. Yeah, we just got a bread box. Pretty exciting times. I mean, not as exciting as the uh, wet vacuum I got. Julia did get a steamer vacuum. It's not the, even like a steamer vacuum. The Bissell vacuum. Green Dog. Little Green. Little Green Dog Barker. It's the Bissell Little Green Pet Pro the or Bissell something. Bissell Big Boy Little Bissell, Guy. Bissell Guy. Wet. Wet Suck. Yeah. I did. I did get one of those. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm cleaning everything. Wedding presents? No. Stains are getting removed all around the house. Those cats, the damage they've done? We've removed the cats. We <laughs> sucked them up. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, this is still here. That's closed. Yeah, Julia has been excited about this. We were actually just talking about how the the funny dichotomy that we have going on because I've been really excited because I I just bought a new guitar that is on its way. And I, I haven't owned an electric guitar in a long time, but I've been playing guitar every day for the past couple weeks and I've been really into it again. And so I wanted to get another electric guitar. And so I ordered myself a, a sea green Telecaster that I could not be more psyched about. And then Julia ordered a wet vacuum and we both were equally thrilled. I'm not equally thrilled about the, the, about the wet vacuum. I just think it's going to be practical and it's going to make me cleaning up the apartment easier. You were pretty excited. You literally said, I can't excited. wait for it to get here so <laughs> I can use it to clean this chair. Well, because it was nasty. Cat barfed on it. Local the man, you got the same there. Telecaster? Let's go. Couple of Telecaster pals. But it's not like a fun, cool hobby thing, you know? Like you have lots of little like interest corners, you know? Like you're gonna have guitars here, you have the record player corner over there. Well, you got you got stuff, you just haven't got it, you haven't got into it yet. You got your sewing machine. No! <laughs> no! Feels like boomer jokes about gender roles. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I can't. When Jacob bought himself a guitar, I was like, I can't allow myself to be as excited about a fucking vacuum. Just on principle. It's just because I do most of the cleaning. That I was excited about the vacuum thing because it would make my life easier than doing spot cleaning with my little spot remover thing. Let it soak and then spraying it with a water bottle and then trying to scrub it out and then put on a little spot remover and spraying it. Julia, literally no one has said anything negative about <laughs> the wet vacuum, but you're acting like everyone's been coming at you. People are coming at me because of gender roles. <laughs> they said it sounded like a boomer joke about gender roles. Not that it was. I'm not allowing myself to be excited about it. Everyone else is being like, it's cool to be excited about things. We <laughs> support <lame>. you. <laughs> you understand. I feel like I've set back women. He's, no, you're, this, is, this is like modern feminism. Let women be excited about anything they want to be excited about, even if it's something that's been historically a feminine thing. This is true. Why did I mess up, man? <laughs> it 
everyone should be excited about their uh, their little things they get that they are excited about. I was excited about that teapot. You were excited about the teapot, but to be fair, I was pretty excited about that teapot too. I got a Japanese, well, not a teapot, a kettle. Yeah. I got a Japanese ceramic kettle. It's very pretty. It looks like one random of those pour over ones. Yeah, it's got like the what's the what's that neck called? Swan a swan's neck, an elephant's trunk. It's got like a name, right? I think so. A scoop neck. Goose neck. A swoopy neck. I was so close with swan's neck. You were really close, yeah. Yeah. Goose neck kettle, yeah. Stop it with the cups. Stop with the cups. It's enough. Stop. That's enough. You make it fool yourself. Oh, Army Watch Medic said anomaly reports after failures tell you what you missed. Yeah, I did read that afterwards. I should have looked at it. That's helpful but info. The comma was too late. Yeah. When I fail this again, I'll uh I'll read it. You're never gonna fail again. I joy. Guilty feet ain't got no rhythm. You're never gonna fail again the way You're I failed never with you. Fail again. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sweetie. Joy, you're blocking chat with your bod, your bodacious bod. I can't see chat at all. You gonna sneeze? I think she just noticed that the window is cracked. You gonna sit with me or are you gonna go to the window? You wanna go to the window? She wants to go to the window. Okay, I don't think you need the beer. <laughs> uh, chat was just posting Joy emojis anyway. Emojis? Emotes. Emotes. The hell? Okay, boomer. <laughs> When's the last time I said emojis? Sometimes when I'm sleepy, I'll say it instead of... Or I'll say emoticons. You, you'll go the full way. I'll go the full, the full distance on that. Just like Hercules. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the oldest thing I've ever said. <laughs> Joy. Hi, sweetie. Joy, I can't see chat. He doesn't need to see chat. I need to see chat. I'm trying to read. Bun -bun. Hey, Joy. What's up? What's up, buddy? Is it that you want to play? You can't play yet. You have chat back. Chat's back. But for how long? Is Joy's back? Well, she's just standing on my chair. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. Does she headbutt you? Yeah. Does she want some attenzione? She's so cute. Hello. What a little cutie. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go go carry on my wayward son. You're just gonna stand there. Okay. Oh god. I wish I hadn't set up the noise gate so well so y'all could hear the the ringing of the church bell on the hour. Joy's back. Because I always want to say the ringing of the bell commands you, but you wouldn't know what I was talking about because you can't hear it. Joy's back, but you can't see her. Cause... Joy, why are you hiding behind the screen? There you go, buddy. Where are you trying to go to? I don't know. I think she wants like her chair so she can have her own chair, but... Come down. Go ahead. Get out of here. Go, go fight Olive somewhere. Yeah, okay, wherever she is. Yeah, we got to watch over the garden wall. 
We do. We're running out of days that. to do it. I know. Oh. An uh, abyss. A piss abyss. A piss abyss. Piss abyss. Yeah, I guess we're recording tomorrow. We have the stream. And then Tuesday is Halloween. It is. Where I think our niece and nephew are coming over. It's Did possible. I'm really focusing now this time around. Will a fun Halloween app be released for Droff? I think so. I hope so. Right? It should be. Yeah. I'm I almost positive so. it is. I'm going to look up. I'll look it up. I think I know what it is. I'll, I'm going to, well, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Yeah, I think I know which one it is. Though. But I'll tell you. If it is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll tell you if it is. I'm signed out. <laughs> I got to I got to do two step verification. Table menu moved in dining room. This thing? Did it really? Where was it? Is it here? Oh, was, thank you. Thank you, chat. It is a spooky Halloween episode. But I have bad news. I'm not in it. It's true, you're not. <laughs> I'm not in this one. Sorry, Jacob. Oh, the humanity. I don't get to participate. Why won't they let me participate in Drawfee anymore? Why do they kick me out? You know how we figure out who's going to sit out of an episode? It's a lot of, all right, who wants to sit this one out? I don't know. I mean, I will if, unless, unless anyone else, unless anyone else would like a break. It's like, no, I don't need a break, but, you know, if everyone really wants to be in this one, I can sit out. Like, I don't want to put, like, the problem is, is that none of us want to tell anyone that they, like, have to be in an episode, even if we think they should be in an episode. And then no one wants to, like, take the break away from someone else. Why do you have people sit out? It's because if we got four people recording, if there's guests or something like that, we only, we only like to do four max people because we only have four microphones. And also in our rigorous testing, we've discovered that four is the maximum number at which crosstalk is still manageable. Excuse you. Ma'am. Do you need to be going crazy back there? Anyways. <laughs> there she goes, she's going to bed. Yeah, five people is like somebody always ends up not being able to get a word in or. Or we're like trying to be conscious of the fact that it's like more people than normal. So a lot of people are like leaving space. And then when there's space, we're not used to it. So someone tries to like fill it in, but then everyone's trying to fill in that space. And then we wind up bumping into each other. It's a lot. Just a whole mess. Yeah. Which is why sometimes on Draw Detectives episodes, 
um, like Eugene will be taking a back seat or something, or Jancy, you know, because it's uh, too many people talking. Guys, we're missing something. You weren't kidding when they said hard mode, huh? This mode is hard. We're not messing around. Exit sign in private is lit. I thought that was always lit. People been saying it. That one's always lit. And the next one's not lit. Wow. Wow. Wow! Picture in private car is different? No, it isn't. That's the same face. It's always there. You're I all look fired. At it. You're I all look fired. at it every time. I'm on this. I'm in this on my own. I know that face like the back of my own face, which is what I see when I close my eyes. <laughs> Jazz put them in emote jail. <laughs> Jazz, you can't keep them in emote jail for long because I have to talk to chat on these streams. It's my job. If they're in emote jail, I can't talk to them. Unless I try to interpret what their emotes mean. You could do that. That's fun. I mean, a lot of them are just our cats or crying faces or the dog that's going bop, 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 bop. I do like that dog. Which is kind of like talking. There's the crying cat face. I also need them in case they do see something I don't. Crying Isaac. A lot of dancing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. There he is. That's um. Off. Oh, chat's back. Chat's back. Welcome back, chat. How do you Extra enjoy your time in jail? Driver. What? The first thing someone said upon <laughs> returning was "extra buttons driver." I don't. No. See extra buttons. It's always two, three, and this is always a solid line. And then these, it's four, and then all of these have been pointing this way. I'm seeing an extra outlet in the private car. I just see the one outlet. I don't see an extra outlet. This mode. Mm -hmm. The mode is so hard. Now I'm trying to look, but I haven't been paying enough attention to know. Chair turned. Don't worry, I've, I've started to fully focus in my brain. Chair turned in driver's seat. Anomaly fixed. I've seen people say bathroom mirror a few times. Bathroom mirror? Okay. But I don't know what they mean about it. When I get there, I'll get there. When you get there, you get there. Oh! You thought you could do it. You thought you could do it without us seeing, but we saw. Bathroom mirror looks normal to me. It also looks normal to me.
Someone said this is turned and I don't think so. Kettle normal. Ari Yikes says, of the, as the captain of Private C, I apologize on behalf of chat's errors. Thank you. That's good taking responsibility. Yeah, we do appreciate that, but you will be taking a pay cut. Yeah. So now you'll give me $4 of every $5 you receive for the time being until I've decided that you've served your penance. Which will be never. I'll just treat it like it was always been that way <laughs> later. <laughs> I call it the putting a toll on the road method. Like every toll that's ever been placed on a road in America I was love... placed there temporarily, temporarily to fund something. And they just like 10 years later, like, what do you mean? It's always been there. Yeah. And it's like, don't I pay to take care of the roads via our taxes? And they're like, pay more. What? <laughs> just pay more. No, but you understand this road. This one's unique. It just needs more. It needs more. It's like, okay, how much money went to the military again? Yeah. Oh, oh, the most of our budget went to the military. <laughs> oh, and it's extraordinarily more than every other country in the world. Okay. Like double, you say? Okay. Like one of our states has a bigger military than... Like a first, another like first world country or something. Remember reading? <laughs> oh, I love that guy. That's one of my favorite guys. He's really good. He, he seems like he's trying his best. Like he thinks he's doing a job. Yeah. He's like, I'm at work. Or it seems like he's really liking it and he's hoping I won't notice him. That was a weird buzz. Well, I got a notification and then an email, like immediately. Your phone was hitting some new rhythms there. <laughs> Your phone's doing polyrhythms. Yeah. With it's buzzing. Artist. Joy's like sleeping now. It never ceases to amaze me how quickly cats can go from like going bonkers to being asleep. Yeah. Was this in a different position? Yes. It was? I feel like it's weird. I also feel like it's weird, and I don't know why. Oh, I thought you meant the backpack. Oh. Uh, I didn't mean the toothbrush. The toothbrush is normal. I like get a new angle. Faucet gone? What? Hold on. I got docked. For a camera malfunction? Well, camera malfunction means the camera's not there. This is what I'm talking about. This sucks. That's like a warp or whatever. A distortion? Distortion. That's bullshit. Camera malfunction only means camera's not there. I would call this a malfunction. I mean, I agree with you. I'm just saying the rules of the game. Whoa! If the whole time... My view is through the camera. If you change the camera's view, that is a camera malfunction. If it is a change of listen, the view of the listen. camera, that is a camera breaking. Listen, I agree with you in terms of the- I forgot to read the report. Well, I think we know what went wrong that time. <laughs> <laughs> I agree right. with you in terms of the linguistics of the situation. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the game's rule set. It only means one thing in the game's rule set. Jacob, you should know I'm, I'm planning to go fully into my mind palace so we can look at literally any other level. Okay. I believe in you. <laughs> Fuck Jacob, Julia, you are 100% right. I'm also 100% right. <laughs> Why are people so quick to jump to me like arguing with you when I literally said I agree with you? Yeah, you were agreeing with me, and but also explaining that the game does not agree with me. The game's just got like a this equals this rule set that's very narrow. I knew it. I knew the kettle was correct. 
black. <laughs> it's fuck you, Jacob Day. Donut. <laughs> you had a butt, so you're a monster. Everybody's got a butt. Okay. Opinions are like buttholes. Everyone has them and they all stank. Okay. <laughs> oh. You know what I just realized the other day because Julia was showing me a clip of uh, the Legend of Zelda TV show dubbed over with Beavis and Butthead. I didn't realize that Butthead's voice was the same voice actor as Hank Hill. I knew he made both shows, Mike Judge, and I knew he was Hank Hill, but I didn't realize he was also Butthead until I heard his voice again. And I was like, that's Hank Hill doing a different voice. He's also Beavis. I didn't know that either. Does anyone else on the show? <laughs> or is it just him? And Hank Hill doesn't have a butt. That's so true. Every time I hear his voice, it, it brings me a sense of peace inside of me. Did Julia walk down the aisle to fight song? <laughs> as funny as that would be, we actually didn't, we didn't do um, conventional, um, what's it called when procession? We didn't process. No. Basically we were like at the venue when people came in, just hanging out. Yeah. And then we all hung out for a while. And then after a while, we were like, okay, everyone look over here now. And then once my best friend arrived, we had the ceremony. Yeah. And then they're like, everyone look over here. And then we did the ceremony and they were like, okay, everyone go back to what you were doing. I told my brother to use his best teacher voice to get everyone to stop talking. And then when he was done, they turned off the microphone. And then my niece had... One person karaoke. It was very cute. Yeah, she she thought she was really performing. She, she was, had like she a was big singing, step. Yeah. And she was like this. She was singing full blast into that turned off microphone. Yeah. <laughs> it was really cute. Her little stance where she's holding the microphone like this. We have a picture of it where she's holding the microphone like this and she's like this. And then she like takes a big step and she like gets into it. <laughs> And she's like, ah, and ah. she's, well, she's singing some song from Scooby Doo. And she knew all the words. She's a riot. I think she was singing the Hex Girls song. Oh, it was the Hex Girls? I'm pretty sure it was the Hex Girls song. Okay. So she has good taste. As a two year old or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, she doesn't like my brother's music is what we've discovered. Yeah, Julia's brother and I were like the two clasping muscular arms meme over um, loud, chaotic music that is, it sounds offensive to your ears. We both love that shit. But he said that he had like put on some like metal when she was in the car. Like he had it on very quietly. Yeah. But Clara was like, too loud. Too loud. Yeah, she's not a fan of that music. Yeah, the predator handshake. That's what I meant. The bear. He looking. He looking. We'll see how she feels, you know, once she's older. Mm -hmm. Once she learns to appreciate the intricacies. Well, she also doesn't like when her brother cries and not in the way where she feels sympathetic, but because he's loud. He's just too loud, yeah. So she'll put I her agree, hands over and go, too loud. Every time a like, baby cries. She'll do the slow turn. Yeah. She looks at him like, what the hell's your problem? Yeah, like, why are you doing this? 
But apparently she's been trying, they've been working on like identifying emotions so that she can explain how she feels and, you know, see how other people are feeling at a glance. <laughs> and um, apparently some little boy was crying in her class. <laughs> she walked up to him and went, are you crying? He's crying. Why are you crying? You're crying? Are you sad? Why are you sad? Because <laughs> she was just like doing doing the work, like trying to make the brain connections. She was just getting in his face and then being like, hey, this boy's crying. Hey, listen to this. <laughs> Look at this idiot. What loud, chaotic music have I been listening to lately? It's a good question. Jacob listened to Javelin for the first I did, time. I did. I did. That's not loud or chaotic. That's not loud. It's no. <laughs> soft and sad. Yeah. Sufjan Stevens' new album. I don't only listen to chaotic music. No. I would say that most of the music you listen to is not chaotic. At least most of what I play out loud when you're around is not chaotic. Because I do consider, I I do consider you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't mind. I mean, I grew up with my brother who always listened to loud, chaotic music. And unlike him, you don't play it at full volume. That's very true. No matter what I'm doing. So true, bestie. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been listening to anything too chaotic lately. I go through eras. Oh my god, the eras. Just like tour. Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm very much like Taylor Swift in that way, and that yeah. I go through eras. Yeah. I looked at chat for a moment to see if anyone was pointing out something I missed and I saw someone talking about Mannequin Pussy. Oh yeah, I love Mannequin Pussy. Yeah. Their new song rips. It rips ass, it slaps ass, and it kicks dick. I also really enjoyed the new Invent Animate album. If any of you know Invent Animate. Also, Idols has been one of my favorite increasingly favorite bands as yeah. they go on you saw them in concert right? mm -hmm, i did yeah. jack jerky you're wearing a mannequin pussy shirt right now what oh, yeah. what are the odds do you watch the first of october i do that's rob scallon and and andrew huang's once a year band <laughs> Oh, where, where they, they do like twenty four hour. They make they do, they have twelve hours to make a whole album on the first of October every year. It's one of my favorite YouTube videos. Every year when when it comes out, I'm so excited. You do tell me about it every year, and it's fun to to hear about. This year's was a little subdued. Really? Yeah, it seemed like Rob was going through some stuff, oh, and so they were you know there was kind of a. But they still made an album, and the album was still cool. It just sucks when you have like a creative endeavor that you're looking forward to. And then by the time it hits, you're like, you know, funk. I think it was even like a, a bigger thing because this year they recorded it at Abbey Road oh, in London. That sucks. And so it was like a huge thing. That's a shame. And then like he was like, I don't feel like I can write anything today. Like I feel really, you know, like I don't like anything I'm making. I Basically, I, I related incredibly. Yeah. To uh to what he was going through in that visit, that visit, that video. I got distracted with talking. How dare I? I will never talk again. No, it was me talking. Idols has a new song out.
called Dancer with a very good music video. I highly recommend everyone go watch the music video for Dancer. And if you don't like idols after watching that music video, then you'll know that you won't like them as a band and you can move on guilt free. I don't know why you would feel guilty, but I give you permission to not feel guilty if you don't like something. I mean, sometimes people conflate um, not liking a thing with saying that it's bad. And that's oh, yeah, not that's true. true. Yeah. You can dislike something that's very good. I dislike a lot of things that are really good. There are a lot of movies that I'm like, that was a really good movie and I'm never going to watch it again. Children of Men. Phenomenal movie. I don't know if I necessarily liked it. <laughs> I didn't have a good time. Yeah. I didn't have a good time. It made me feel bad. And sad. I agree. And anxious. And not that every movie needs to make me feel good. I watched Promising Young Woman and that movie makes you feel bad. But I, I liked that one. Somebody asked our, our opinions on the band Black Midi. They're one that I've been really meaning to get more into because I really like everything I hear by them. They're the ones that your brother sent us that crazy music video. Oh, of yes. all like the people dancing. Yeah. And I in like the clouds. And I didn't know how I felt about it because it was very weird. Yeah, they're super weird. I would say loud and chaotic. Yeah. 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 There's a, a number of bands that my brother loves. And every time he shows me something from them, I find it overstimulating. Yeah. <laughs> in the way that like. Cats 2019 was in that I, I didn't have a foothold like nothing was grounded in reality. I couldn't I couldn't grasp onto anything. Cats 19 was like a formative moment in Julia's life because yeah. it gave her like the language to express how things make her feel. I'm seeing missing red suitcase and passenger C. Thank you. So now, ever since we saw Cats 2019, Julia will be like, this made me feel like Cats 2019. Yeah. And then I understand what she meant. Well, what were we watching recently that made me feel that way? Um, Haosu. Oh, yeah. Haosu is another one where I think it was good, but I don't think I liked it. I think it was a little too unhinged. Fine. For yeah. You. you like things to be slightly hinged. I do. Why do I hear a cat cleaning, but I don't see a cat? I think it's uh, rain outside. Oh. Your friend dared you to watch Cats 2019 once a month until you die, or I missed the rest of the message. Until you die. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. I did see they said they could quote it front to back. That's a shame. Black menu on table in dining moved. Okay. I will address it when I get back to it. I feel like this rotated or something. But now I feel like I'm just making things up. Everything rotates in a sense because mm -hmm. the earth is rotating. That's true. Maybe that's what you're sensing. Someone's saying that you introduced them to the deer hunter and it opened a new world of music for them. Good, I'm glad. I guess they branched out from there. That's always the best when you find a band and then you use that band as a springboard to find a bunch of other bands. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, how did I live without this entire genre of music? Yeah. I've never seen Cats 2019 
only know it through draw fee. Um, it's just like nothing is consistent in that movie. And I think that was too much for my brain. Like the sizes change from shot to shot of certain items. The music tempos change wildly. Everyone's moving real weird, but they are people. It's strange. It just ain't right. And they're just hitting you with a lot all the time. This was this more like. Oh, I'm sorry. I clicked your titty. I think I it's good that you clicked his titty. You needed to get him out of there quick. Yeah. Before he kills you. <laughs> director. Oh, the director. It says, do not argue with him. Well. We didn't argue with him. I clicked his nippy instead. We freaking deleted him. I did. We gave him a nippy flick and deleted him. Ever since the cryptid episode, my husband and I have been saying my ass is getting steamed whenever we get annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I ass don't even is getting remember. steamed. That sounds like something I would say, but I don't remember if it was me. Well, I think it was because of Nathan's crab with the with the tennis. Oh, did Nathan say it? Well, no, I think I you said it? it, but you know, it's because of the crabs. He okay. Playing, he had the tennis hand and the golf hand. Right? right. It was a Julia bit. Did Julia say it? Did I say it? Who said it? Somebody said it. Was it me? Was it me? Because it sounds like a Jacob. But sometimes Julia oh, started, started it. it. That makes sense. And we were all doing it together. Everyone said it. <laughs> <laughs> good at this point it could be any of us saying any of the things yeah. that we say oh stretching the legs oh baby I got a water Mr. Plant it's a water Mr. Plant break oh. Oh. he's going Oh, right. Yeah, I was making cooked crab puns. That is Appa. Yeah. Jacob had that from his old apartment. And then there's the cursed Pikachu Ons to give us. And then there's Jacob Horse. That's now that yellow thing is an antique tin, the antique Lipton tin that I bought. Animal Crossing, Daruma. Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing. I film, film for my antique camera. I think that's a part for my Cintiq. We're slowly filling it in. Where we get the bookshelf from? Wayfair, I think. You water Mr. Plant? I water Mr. Plant. Nice. Don't worry, everyone. Mr. Plant has been watered. Wait, the lamp is so pretty? Thank you. Bought that when we moved into the last apartment. I do like that lamp. I feel like it's kind of shitty. It? it is kind of shitty, yeah. But I do like it. Yeah. Despite its shittiness. It's not like a high quality lamp. Nope. It's more of a um, loosey goosey. It does wobble a lot. Fella. The, one of the cats walked on it the other day. <laughs> Hi, Olive. One of the cats walked on it the other day and they looked at it like. Because it just kept wobbling. The girl is here. Okay, back to it. We back to it, baby. Oh, I reported it. That's what...
I just keep thinking about my guitar. You excited? I'm so excited for my guitar. Chat, what should be the first thing I play on the new guitar? Don't ask him that. I know what the answer is going to be. Tell me the first thing I should play, and I'm going to record it. And then I'm going to play you. Everyone said Wonderwall. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all Wonderwall and Freebird. I knew it. You I pieces of shit. That's why I said don't. <laughs> It was so many wonder walls. What were you expecting? I don't know. Respect. <laughs> expecting something different. Sincerity. Stairway to heaven. I used to know how to play Stairway to Heaven. Someone saying the Boxo song. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the I'm sorry song. Yeah. Once Olive's not in my lap, I'll see if I can uh, conjure from my memory how to play the intro to Stairway to Heaven. And I should make it clear, I don't remember how to play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new drawing things from memory. It's playing things from memory. <laughs> but I bet I can figure it out. I don't think I remember how to play anything on the bass. You probably remember how to play Seven Nation Army. Mm. Like the easiest song of all time. I don't think so. Or you could figure it out in like a second. I could probably figure it out, but. Cup gone? Everyone's saying cup gone. The driver cup? Driver cup gone. Driver Thank cup you. gone. We are going to get a bass as well soon. Both for me and for Julia to play, because Julia used to play bass a little bit. Yeah, I liked playing bass. And I want us to play together. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if we learned how to play guitar and bass together, and then we also learned how to do vocal harmonies? I feel like vocal harmonies I could do. Oh, I there he is. I keep clicking the Titties! Little titty click. Play Enya. Who can say where the road goes? Probably the road designers. Where the day flows, only time. Probably like some city planners or something could mm, probably say no, where it goes. No, only time. Unless it's only Tim, the city planner. Something feels different. Play Goat by Polyphia. I'm going to learn it. I'm going to learn it and then you'll see. I think there's only one part of the, the intro to Goat that I could not play physically. And I think it's the, the really fucking fast part where he does like 30 second notes. That's so much for on your life. Yeah, she did. Someone said private C chips. But this looks the same to me. Is it not? Was there an extra chippy or something? Chips. I'm relying on you and read chat, Jake. I'm reading chat right now. They're just saying the names of songs, but they're going to get to it. Mm. Buy chip. Chips challenge. God damn it. <laughs> oh, you bought a clarinet after not touching one for 10 years? Oh, Private C was gone. Missing object, dining car, object manipulation. I was just in Private C. All right, who wants to hear Stairway to Heaven? Here we go, ready? There's a lady who's so... All that glitter. Okay. 
go. Stairway to heaven. <laughs> wow, there it is. <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> oh, doing it. oh, here we go. Yeah. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. 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 Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> He's getting there. Wait, okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, damn, you were on such a good roll. Okay, hold on. Start over, start over. Shit. Kaz is going to have to cover this shit. bit. <laughs> what chord does it go to? I know that it's like... Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. There it is. But I'm missing one chord. And it's like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Copyright strike is preventing you. Someone saying D or C sharp? I thought it was. Is it C sharp? It's D. Then it's F. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got it. We got it. No. <laughs> Damn it, I was so close. Okay, we got it. We got it. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! I remembered. Someone said, just got here? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'd remember. I told you it would happen. I just had to find the first chord. Thanks, everybody. Not a single wrong note. Hell no. We don't play wrong notes in this house. Mm -mm. We didn't just do a quiz to see if I could tell the difference between... Uh, octave change and a perfect seventh or whatever. Someone said, I wish actual concerts were just like that. <laughs> <laughs> the band doesn't remember the song and they have to re remember it live on stage. Is anybody seeing anything? Yeah, please, please help Julia now. I'm sorry that I distracted everyone. It's okay. That's it's the point of the stream is to have fun. You should stream Rocksmith when you get your new electric guitar. That could be fun. I've never tried Rocksmith. Dining car sign. Uh-huh. Someone said that and I didn't see it. 
Stygiac says Sleeping Sea is still the same. Thank you. Appreciate the update. This? That's normal. That's normal. Watch for the bathroom mirror to zoom. That is like a thing that can happen. Okay. It's a ghost. Is that a tibia song? It's a ghost in the passenger car. Scooby Doo would have been so scared just then. Mm -hmm. Zoink! Now I got Stairway to Heaven stuck in my head. Yeah. There's a baby you show. All that glitters is gold. Right. And she's buying the stairway to heaven. When she gets there, she knows if the stores are all closed. With a word, she can get what she came for. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is just a spring clean for the May Queen. I just quoted that when my mom and sister were here for the wedding. We were all in the car. And I said, if there's a bustle in your hedgerow, don't be alarmed now. And no one knew what the hell I was talking about. No, I think your sister responded. No, she didn't know. I had to tell her. It was fucked up. <laughs> they were all so alarmed by the bustle in their hedgerow. Yeah. My sister is my half sister. Because people are always like, I didn't know Jacob had siblings. I have a half sister, but she didn't live with me. Y'all. Yeah. But you came out for the wedding. But we're still good friends. You are. And then my niece kept asking <laughs> Jacob's sister if she was going to poop. She would follow her into the bathroom and be like, you gonna poop? She kept holding the door open. You gonna poop? My niece's latest thing is that she's confusing like family members. And she had that down before, so I don't know what, what happened. But she keeps, I think it was because of the wedding, because she kept coming up to me and being like, I got married today. And I was like, oh, yeah, to who? And she was like, you. And I was like, uh, <laughs> it's not uh, exactly what happened, uh, but. She was convinced that um, my brother was actually her brother. But that's her dad. But that's her dad. You have eight siblings. Oh my God. I can't even imagine. USB and laptop and private C is new. I, I was wondering about that, but it seemed too subtle. Missing stools in the back of the dining car. I 
Thank you. Haunting houses, you have nine siblings? What is, how is, <laughs> how is that even possible? What the hell? Like, how is that even possible? People gotta, you gotta stop. Like, you can't just keep, <laughs> you can't just keep doing it. You can't just keep having kids. Just over, you can't, you just have to stop. I firmly believe this. <laughs> I think that three children is the maximum. Uh huh. Like, I can't imagine, like, if I had three kids being like, I'd like to have a fourth kid. That's great. That's like unthinkable to me. I mean, having three kids is unthinkable to me. Yeah, we know. It's a, freaking it's distortion. a distortion. Yeah. I mean, it's like seeing friends who go from friends and family who go from like having one kid to having two kids and seeing how much harder that is. I don't understand how anyone does. I don't understand how anyone does two. But then having three or four or however many after that, that seems insane to me. But then imagine you got like 10. I know. Well, at that point, I think then your kids raise your kids to an extent. But you don't, you don't want kids raising kids. Kids mm -hmm. don't know what they're doing because they're kids. <laughs> I mean, they shouldn't have to be raising other kids. Is the thing. Kids raising kids, they don't know. When you're in a situation where you don't have, you know, I mean, I'm not saying this blanket, everyone, obviously some people got to take care of their siblings because of circumstances, but I'm saying. They're kids, Jerry. <laughs> I'm saying let kids be kids. If given the option. <laughs> That's a big, that's a big abyss. That's a big abyss. That's a big abyss. That's a big abyss. One hundred percent agree, but I feel like adults have proven they don't know how to raise kids either. That's a good point. That's also true. Yeah. Nobody knows how to raise kids. Everyone's doing their best except or for the not. ones who aren't. <laughs> Some people aren't doing their best <laughs> like not. decisively. Yeah. Some people are doing their worst. I wish they would do their best. Okay. Horizontal knob in the driver car. Someone said that, but that seemed normal to me. Is that not normal? This thing? I think it's normal. I think it's normal. I don't know. Are you talking about, is it one of these? This is, this is horizontal. These are correct. This is right. Knob on console? Knob on console normal. This one? That's normal. I think it's normal. Out level this way. I remember that. I want to know who just leaves a full unwrapped egg salad sandwich just sitting on the table in the train and leaves. Someone got interrupted from their egg salad sandwich. You at least put it like on the wrapper. You don't just put it on the table, like uh, bread to table. That's a good point. What's the matter with you? I don't even touch food to our table and I clean our table like a lot. Yeah.
two taps and sleeping C. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you've ordered a hit. <laughs> two taps and sleeping C. Pew, pew. Two taps and sleeping C. Two taps. Thank Two you. Two taps. Two taps this time. Bam, bam. Now Charlie Brown. Og. I think everyone should scream Og when he says now Charlie Brown. <laughs> I agree with you. Because whatever you you do do is not what Charlie Brown does. Right. Well, what Charlie Brown would do would have an existential crisis about life. Charlie Brown would not be there. He would not be involved. He would not be invited. He would not be there. What do I think the Charlie Brown dance is? If I were to describe a Charlie Brown dance, it'd be the one that the kid does where he like goes side to side like. Oh yeah. And his feet are like going like this. Yeah. That would be the dance to me. See the cat down there. Miss Elliot. Well, I really like when they dance and they look fully up and you just get like a little cat mouth. Yeah. That one's good too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that is pig pen, I think, that does that, but that's the dance to me. That's like the the crucial dance. What is this? Um Something my niece was doing that was cracking me up. She kept asking what was I, because I was dressed as a vampire and I had little fangs in. And I would go, I'm a vampire. <laughs> and then I would show my fangs and she would go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has this tone that sounds like she's really disappointed in you. But that's just how she speaks. It's just so funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess you are then. I wish you weren't. Here we are. We were at a Halloween parade with them, and the only thing that that Clara enjoyed was the horses that went by. <laughs> and right after the horses were gone, she turned to me and she went, that was great. Did she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that was great. You're so right. Yeah. Yeah, the, the giant big black horses. Yeah. Like going absolutely bonkers yeah nothing else she was not impressed by anything else no she kind of liked the clown car but at that point she was kind of over it i just keep thinking yeah yeah i hear it I hear it jacob the ringing of the bell commands you I'm going to be so upset if we don't pass this. Much like a kidney stone. <laughs> we have to pass it. Kidney stones are apparently supposed to be the most painful thing you can go through. That's what I've heard. Other than, I guess, giving birth, which seems to trump everything. But I've never had one, thankfully. A baby? A kidney stone. Or oh, a baby. Yeah. But my dad has had multiple kidney stones. So I'm worried that there's like a genetic predisposition. Uh, maybe. You, but you drink so much water. I drink a lot of water. Because I don't want a kidney stone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hydrate. Don't you worry about that. My dad, a weird fact about my dad, he had to have 
So he had he had three kidneys. Excuse me? He had to have a kidney removed. To have a normal amount of kidneys? Because of a kidney issue. But then he had two other ones that were like two kidneys on one side and one on the other side. Uh -huh. But I think one of them like wasn't doing anything. It was like a bonus kidney that wasn't functioning. Okay. But he had to have one kidney removed. And so he had like two kidneys on one side and then no kidney on the other side. Mm. And then um, he early in their relationship, he told my mom that because he had two kidneys on one side, he had to stand on one leg to pee. <laughs> And she b thought he was being serious. Is this rotated? Someone someone let me know in chat. Sorry, continue. And then years later, she walked by while he was peeing and he was not standing on one leg and she got really mad at him. <laughs> That's very funny. Looks normal, okay. A marriage based on lies. <laughs> yeah, it was the basis of their marriage. Yeah. Was that, like, I'll only marry you. With that information. If you stand on one leg to pay. <laughs> Lovesick said, that's a red flag for sure. Very manipulative. <laughs> <laughs> Lovesick giving the Reddit response. Yeah. You should break up with him. Don't try to work anything out or work on communication. Le leave the whole man. Although oftentimes with posts on Reddit, that, oh my God. that is the correct answer. Because they post like the wildest shit. I basically read like, am I the asshole or relationship advice to be like, my relationship with Jacob is great. <laughs> it's I'm very fortunate. It really puts things in perspective. Yeah. At how bad relationships can be <laughs> it could be because they'll be like it'll be like r slash you know two x chromosomes or whatever and this person's like my husband like shits on the middle of the floor every single day and i have to clean it up and then gets mad at me when i asked him gently to not do this and he says i'm infringing upon his freedoms as an american <laughs> every time he, i ask him to stop and then he says that his mom always cleaned it up for him, so I should too. And then the question at the end is like, do you have like any product recommendations for like to better <laughs> to better clean up this shit? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was listening to this is a different thing entirely, but, but kind of related. I was listening to an episode of Unsolved Mysteries, the podcast, and um there was an episode about this woman who does, oh no, this was a TikTok. This is what it was. It was this woman saying, she went on, I have to like pause for a second. She went on a date with a guy. Okay. And they started dating for like a month or something. And the whole time he was like, I want the perfect relationship. Like what my parents have. That's my relationship goals. It's great. It's awesome. My parents have the best relationship. So she was really excited to meet them. And she met them and throughout the night, she realized that the wife cleaned everything, cooked everything, raised the kids, has a full-time job. And she was like, well, the dad could be like, like the mom could be like, okay with that deal. Cause the guy's really nice or he like contributes in another way. But apparently all he does is that, he plays guitar in the garage and doesn't have a job <laughs> and says that he'll be famous one day, but he's been working on his music career for 40 years and hasn't played a show in like 35 or something. Oh, no. And he's like awful to his wife and like has is negative about everything is like negative about the weather, politics, his family, his wife. Wow. Sounds like a party. Yeah. And I bet he's not that good at guitar either. Probably not now. Or else maybe he'd have a gig. Anyway, she was like, I couldn't date that guy anymore because uh, I did not want to be the the mom. 
Like I didn't, I didn't want that. Yeah. <laughs> like that was, if that was going to be me, I don't want that. Yeah, but he can't play Stairway to Heaven from memory. Wow. Okay. If all you do for 40 years is play guitar and you're, you're somehow not a professional musician <laughs> by that point, something has gone like horrendously wrong. And it's like the only thing you do. Yeah, it's like if all he does is sit in the garage and play guitar, he should be fucking incredible. Yeah. It's like, I understand if it's a hobby and you don't want to do anything with it. I get that. This dude should be the greatest living guitarist. <laughs> there he is. Here's your guy. Cup. I always forget to look for cup, so I'm making a note to look for cup. It's cup there. Cup located. Cup located. Cup spotted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is the run. I don't know, man. I've thought that before, too, and then it just, like, hit me. I'm really feeling it. Like Shulk. Do I have any found footage horror recommendations? Lake Mungo? Does that count? That's not found footage. That's like documentary. It's like fake documentary, but it's awesome. Uh, also, Host. Oh, Host. Host is like an hour long. It's like a Zoom horror movie. But it's like really good for some reason. It's got some like genuinely very good scares. We've also oh, yeah, heard... Ganjam Haunt Haunted Asylum. We watched that one. Oh, we did. That one was fun. That one was good. Yeah, it's a Korean one. I probably butchered that pronunciation, but that one's a fun one. Um, we've heard dash cams really good. It's by the same person who made host. Like unfriended, but good. Yeah, host is like unfriended, but good. But also I like unfriended. Too. It, yeah, that movie's ridiculous. <laughs> Unfriended's really fun. But I think Host is like genuinely good. VHS? That was found footage, right? Yeah. It's like hit or miss though. It is. Because it's like yeah, a yeah. it's like a they're like collections of short movies, so. Yeah. I watched Lake Mungo because you talked about it, but it just made me very sad. <laughs> it does that too. Yeah, it does. Were y'all horror fans when young or no? I'm discovering a scaredy cat to horror fan pipeline. That was my pipeline. I was scaredy cat to horror fan. Um, I wasn't a scaredy cat. I didn't like gore and I still don't like gore. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I used to watch a lot of gory movies. I used to watch a lot of like B horror movies. Um, or D horror movies, you know, just like really bad budget ones um now i can't do gore sign changed in dining car oh thank you I stopped looking at that one for some reason. It I looked at it all the time. Changed to the Hotel California sign. Yes. so scared Jacob I'm so scared um off.
You're at 45. You're killing it. Nice one, double switches. This whole game feels like a quiz where you're learning as you're taking the quiz. I guess it is. Exactly that. Signs in dining car chain. There we got the signs in the dining car. We did. This. World Smile Day, still in effect. Flush toilet. I keep looking at flush toilet. Cup. Herp, herp, herp. This is here. Oh my god! <gasps> Let's go! Yes, 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 yes. She's the best. She's the best. She's the best. Oh, God. Incredible gamer. I'm sorry it took me so long to do one level. That's hard mode, baby. That's hard mode. But look at the, the joy it's brought to everyone. Oh. 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 I feel like now you're you're equipped. Yeah. For future levels. Yeah, yeah. If we you, do this if again. If you come back and do it again next week. Which I feel like we probably will, because this is fun, and I think people are still liking it. Yeah, it just depends on what you want to do next week, but if you want to. Yeah. I like these streams now, too, now that I don't have to pay attention. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you're liking it and Chad's liking it, then, yeah. I'll, then it's all I'll keep doing fun. it. Because I, I do like doing these. They're, uh... The energy is good. It's a good ass time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but this is going to be the end of the stream for tonight. We got a Droppy stream tomorrow night. Yep. So please join us for that. Jacob and I will be back on the Droppy stream. We'll be back. And um, that's it, I guess. I do think that's it. Um, oh, we should talk about... Droppy streams, the Patreon Ooh. streams for next Ooh. month. I will announce this on the Discord, obviously. But because of Anime NYC and because of Thanksgiving in November, the Patreon bonus stream will be this Friday. And then the draw class will be next Friday. And both of those things are happening at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we... Um, we had to shift those streams up obviously like I said I think I'll be teaching I mean when I looked at the tweet recently it seemed like most people wanted like banking advice like money management and explanation of banking terms and things like that I, I did a business class before I really recommend people watch it Um, I don't know I don't, I don't know how to sum it up <laughs> quickly, but it's basically like explanation of how to find and how to understand health insurance, banks, bank terms, bank accounts, and then like stretches and uh, how to, how I manage my time, things like that. Um, so I might do a class that's strictly just banks unless the uh survey changes that's it that's it for tonight yeah thanks everybody thanks everyone we'll see you next time bye bye